Hey folks, so in this tutorial I'm going to be walking you through how to use the VR Pond Components plugin in Unreal to create a completely new VR project from scratch and I'm going to be showing you as well how to use this um, plugin to enable an existing Unreal project that you might have to um, yeah, enable it for virtual reality so you can use it in VR. All right. So first, what you'd want to do is gr grab a copy, of course, of the plugin, either from the marketplace or you can grab a copy of it from the GitHub repo. So as I have here, so you can download the zip file. The the one in GitHub also has a copy of the binaries in it, so it's pre-compiled for you. So if you don't want to fiddle with C++, you have the binary, so you don't, you, it won't ask you to do a compilation. All right? So let's start it off by launching the engine. We'll create a new project, so blueprint um, blank for this demo, or of course you can use the C++ project as well. So desktop, max quality, no starter content, create project. Alrighty, so once you're in the Unreal Editor, you'll just want to go to Settings, Plugins, and if you've downloaded the plugin uh, from the Marketplace, you should have it installed VR and just enable it. Unfortunately, as of this recording, the version that's in the Marketplace is still version 1.0. You'd need the version 2.0 for this um, to follow along with this tutorial. So um, if you can't wait, you can um, download the copy from GitHub and I'll show you now quickly how to enable this project, how to add the plugin using the one from GitHub. Okay, so you'll first need to close, once you've created the project, just close it quickly, open up the, unzip the files of the, uh, of the demo project in GitHub, and open up the directory where your projects are. All right, so we've save the project here and under my project so we'll open that up and we'll just copy the plugins directory here so all i'm doing is let me just show you using um the mouse so right click copy and i'm going to do a right click paste just so that there's a bit of visual see fix what i'm doing so plug in so all i'm doing right now is just copying the plugins directory from the project that I've downloaded from GitHub onto the project that I've just created. All right. Alrighty, so once it's done, and that should be it. You should just double click your U project file. All right, and let's verify that the plugin is installed. Let's do view options here, show plugin content. And let's go to the content browser here and you can see that the Runeberg VR plugin C++ classes are already in your um, new project here. And you could see on under public all the correct components. So you'd know that you're in at least version 2.0 if you've got Runeberg VR underscore pawn. So this is new in version two. All right, so first thing to um, create a new VR project is simply to create a new, let's add a new, not a C++ class, but we'll create a new blueprint class, game mode base. So I'm just gonna call this VR game mode. All right, and next is we're going to create a blueprint class out of this um, Runeberg VR pawn here. So out of the C++, we're going to create a new blueprint class, okay? So I'm just going to leave it as my Runeberg VR underscore pawn, that's fine. And just snap it here. 
Alrighty, so now I've got the VR pawn and I've got the VR game mode. Let's just tie them together. So in VR game mode, what I'd want to do is to just change the default pawn class to my Runeberg VR underscore pawn. All right? So that's it. Compile and save. Close that off. And just one more thing in the world settings. I'm gonna start using the this new game mode that we've just created, VR game mode. And you can see that the VR pawn should be the default pawn class. Of course you can also do it from here. So you could set the default of your um of your entire project. So you just couldn't change it to VR game mode and you should have the VR pawn here. Alright, so I'll just do that quickly. I'm going to save this map. Save. All right, this is a new map. All right, let's have a quick look at the VR pawn here. So you see that it's all pre-configured for you. So you've got a root component there, you've got a scene component, you've got a capsule collision, and you've got the camera all set up with all the right settings, and you've also got a left and right uh, motion controllers all set up as well, left hand and right hand. So all you need to do really is to add a static mesh or a skeletal mesh um, in this um, motion controller underneath the motion controller so you could see the um, yeah the motion controllers in the experience. All right, so we'll just do that. So um, let's use a static mesh component. All right, so add static mesh underscore L. The reason why I didn't include the whether it's a static or a skeletal mesh so that at least you have a bit of an option and just to keep the plugin light. Uh, I mean the pawn light. So I'm gonna just create a new one here underscore right. Okay so compile. I'm gonna save that and we're gonna need a model here. All right, so for the model, let's import the one that came with Steam. So the Vive controller that came with Steam. So we do an import. So the default um, OBJ file or the render model that um, you can use for from Steam it should be located under C program files Steam. Right, so Steam, it should be under Steam Apps, Common, Steam VR, and you should have under Resources, and if I remember correctly, yep, Render Tool Models, and VR Controller Vive. 1.5 as of this recording and just look for the obj file all right so we're just going to click open there i'm going to change the scale to 100 just because i know this model and just change it to 90 in x and z for the rotation just do an import and voila you've got a vr controller the model that you can use. So just gonna open that so you could see. All right? So that's the Vive controller for you. Minimal effort. All right? So you've got all right, so let's get back to the VR pawn. On the static mesh, I'm just gonna add that controller there. Alright? And I'm gonna add the other one there. As you can see from the uh, from the viewport here, you could see that the controller is already attached and it looks good. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So now you have a VR-enabled project. So just click play, and we should test this. Of course, we should test it in VR. So that's how easy it is to create a new VR project from scratch using the plugin. Obviously you can use um, a skeletal mesh, so instead of the static mesh or a combination, I guess, of the static meshes and skeletal meshes here, you could change the look of the motion controller um, to your liking. 
All right, so let's tackle how about if we've got an Unreal project already set up and we just want to enable it for VR. So let's just do that. Okay, I'm gonna close this, click Save. And for this demo, I'm gonna be using the Sun Temple. This is a project, a default project in from Epic. And it's not enabled by default for um, the Vive. So what we'll do is we're gonna convert this to a VR project. So I'm just gonna open up the Sun Temple project. So you could find it from the Epic Launcher, go to Learning Tab, uh, sorry, Learning Tab, and just have a look at the, um, or look for Sun Temple. All right, so I've taken the liberty to do the previous steps that we've done um, on the original, on the blank project. So I've just added the VR controller here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And of course, added the, the plugin as well onto the project. All right, so let's quickly do the other stuff, which is just create a game mode, VR game mode. And then from the plugin, We'll just use the VR pawn, right click, create blueprint class, leave it as my VR, Runberg VR plugin, go back to Sun Temple here. We'll tie up the VR game mode to the VR pawn. So default pawn class to my Runberg VR. That's it, compile, save. All right, so in, now for this one, I'm just gonna do a game, quick game override. So VR game mode. So on under world settings, so it'll only affect this level. So far, we only have one level here. So, yep, save that. Go to the pawn, and let's just quickly do what we've done earlier. So we do a static mesh. And then static mesh underscore L. I'm just gonna duplicate that, control W, drag it along to motion controller right, put underscore R in there, compile, save, I like doing that, <laughs> and go to static mesh, just type VR controller there quickly, and then the other one, VR, controller there, compile and save, have a quick look. Yep, all good. And that's it. So we now have enabled this for VR. And let's give it a whirl. Let's see it in VR. Okay. All right, so that's how easy it is to enable this for VR. But since we have a full scene here that we would, we would actually want to um, Explore. So what we'll do is we'll just give this pawn the ability to actually move around in VR space. All right. So really quickly, we we'll just clean up all of these nodes here. Add the component. So under VR, you should have a couple of components there for you that came with the plugin. So we're going to be using VR movement. So it's added in there and just on the left motion controller. I'm just going to type motion controller left trigger, I guess, trigger. And yep, motion controller left trigger. So when it's pressed, I want to enable the VR movement. So I have a node here called enable VR movement. So on, from the Runeberg VR movement component. So just drag it along here. And there's, so when you press the trigger on your left motion controller, of course you can do this as well for your right motion controller, uh, it will enable VR movement, so you basically move around. I'll be showing you a lot more about this um, VR movement in the next video. Anyway, so from here, you could also disable the VR movement. So disable VR movement, okay. And I want, that when you release the button from the motion controller trigger, I want to disable the VR movement. 
All right, so that's how easy it is to enable VR movement in using this plugin. The last thing that you would want to do is to set up a movement direction reference. This is what the enable VR movement node uses to know where the user actually wants to go um, while moving. So I'm just dragging along the motion controller left reference here and plug it in. And that's it. That should enable you to freely move around in VR space. Let's compile, save, and let's see what this baby can do. All right, with that quick setup, we're able to fly by pressing the trigger. Fly to the statue here and have a look at the level of detail that the Epic guys have done for this um, demo. And let's fly out to this window, see if they've placed some good assets here as well. Yep, they've done it. And you can see, let's see what's on here. Let's go up on top, fly around a little bit into this world. So you see, we can easily fly around in a level that wasn't made for VR and enable it for VR simply by adding the plugin and doing all those basic settings. Obviously you'd want to tweak the assets for your project so that you can reach 90 FPS. And that's it. So in this quick tutorial you've what we've done is we've gone through creating a new Completing new VR project from scratch using the plugin and also enabling a, an existing project and making it VR simply by adding the plug, uh, the pawn component plugin and the VR pawn. All right, so hope you like it. And next video, we're going to be tackling the VR movement component, which we've touched a little bit on this um, demo. And yeah, see you on the next video. Cheers.